Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be an updated formal living room tour. I'm gonna be sharing a bunch of my favorite furniture finds, Amazon finds, Target home decor finds, and also a lot of tips on how I like to style a neutral living room. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So I'm gonna get started with our couch. Unfortunately, this exact couch is no longer available, but they do have an accent chair that's available and also very, very similar couches that are available as well. So there's two things about this couch that make it very different from a traditional couch. One being the side and the back of it that it's not that like traditional thicker wood block or fluffy um, cushions on the side of the couch. It definitely makes it more of a statement piece than your average couch. I've actually never seen couches like this before um, getting this one and they have a ton of similar ones on the Lulu and Georgia website. The other thing about this couch that makes it a little bit different from your traditional couch is that it's one solid cushion instead of having like two or three um, different cushions on it. So it's just kind of like a day bed almost looking couch that it's just one long cushion. So I feel like those two things make this couch look like a statement piece and make it very different from other couches that I see everywhere else. I would never think to look for these details in a couch, but it definitely changes up the room. It makes the room a lot feel a lot more airy. I really love that about this couch, and I also like to do different elements throughout my home that bring the outdoors in. And I am gonna link a couch that's similar from Lulu in Georgia that's kind of like an indoor-outdoor couch. Um, and because this room has a lot of windows in it, it gets a lot of daylight. Um, it looks gorgeous when the sun is setting on all the furniture. It's just almost like a sunroom kind of vibe. I like that this is kind of like that indoor outdoor look. So I'll link those similar couches as well. It really took so long for me to pick the pillows and throw blanket to add to the couch because I wanted to see what direction I was going in with the rest of the room. So those were the finishing touches I just added this week. But I just picked up these linen throw pillows from Crate and Barrel. They come with just the covers and then I also have the inserts from Crate and Barrel. You can get them a little cheaper on Amazon. So these pillows are 20 by 20 and then we also have this two-toned throw blanket. It comes in this light color and it also comes in black and white where it also ties in the beige and the light gray you'll see throughout the room. So next let's talk about this rug and it's also from a Lulu in Georgia. It's a jute rug and this rug is a little pricier. I actually have another jute rug in my other living room and it's way more affordable. Um, I'll link it below as well but this rug is beautiful. It's more of like a thinner rug. I do have a rug pad underneath it and this is kind of more of that outdoor element in. This is very similar to like what you would have on an outdoor patio and it also comes in a ton of different sizes too. So and all the details will be linked below. I absolutely love this rug. My coffee table is a travertine coffee table from West Elm. This is a beautiful coffee table. It's another kind of bring the outdoors in. Travertine is a stone. It's an absolutely stunning coffee table and they also have like travertine furniture for outdoors as well. The thing with travertine is that it is very porous. I do get a lot of questions about this table on my TikTok and I personally love it, especially for this room that it's not a super high traffic room where we're gonna be eating on this table or putting drinks down constantly. If you do get this table, definitely get some coasters for it. Style the table to have like some trays or books where you can put drinks down, food down, things like that because the thing with travertine is that it's very porous so it's gonna absorb liquids quickly but otherwise my dogs run around here constantly throughout the day. I, I don't have to be too careful about chips or scratches or anything with this table whatsoever. I would just be careful with liquids specifically. Some of the decor that I have on the table is mostly from Amazon. The larger base and the candle are from Target. Everything else is from my recent Amazon haul that I did that I will link below. Um, love all the items that I got. So moving on to the other side of the couch, we have these boucle chairs that you've probably seen all over Pinterest, TikTok, any kind of home decor styling videos. I think these are the boucle chairs everybody uses as an example. This was the first item I knew I wanted in my home. I have been eyeing these forever. They are from CB2. They're the Gwyneth Boucle chairs and they also are available in black. And I think that the black looks so cool as well because I've never seen the black bouquet chairs in someone's home. 
Um, so get them and show me how they look if you get them. <laughs> but I went with the white bouquet chairs. They swivel. And my dogs find these chairs incredibly cozy as well. When it comes to boucle, I thought that it would be um, a texture that really would get scratched easily or not hold up well, but I've had these for a year. Honestly, my dogs sleep in them constantly throughout the week and they have their paws and stuff and they don't leave any scratch marks or anything on the chairs. They're perfect condition. Um, they don't get dirty easily. I think that these chairs are great. Like they, I saw some concerns when it comes to boucle when I was like researching um, the different fabrics, but these are really, really great quality. Then on the other side of the chairs, we just have this entryway bench from Pottery Barn. I'm not sure if it's still specifically available in white, but it does come in black and I believe just a solid wood. It has four cabinets. This was our entryway bench for our old rental and I loved it there. Now it's more decorative because we do have a mudroom, but I love this. I feel like it blends really nicely with some of the other furniture pieces. Pottery Barn I find to be very traditional furniture, very farmhouse inspired furniture. But I like to find some pieces from there that also blend into the modern organic style. And I think this kind of translates with a lot of different styles too. So moving into curtains and curtains can get so pricey so quickly depending on the size of your ceiling and your windows. But these are curtains that I found on Amazon. I actually found them through another blogger and they are faux linen curtains. They're sheer. Originally, when we purchased our home, they came with curtains that are blackout curtains, and I did not want that in this room because it gets such beautiful light. Um, so I went with some sheer curtains, and they feel amazing quality. They come in a ton of different sizes. I actually had to get a size that was a little long, and I got them tailored, but they were still way cheaper with that alteration than some other linen curtains for sure so i highly recommend them i've recommended them to so many people they look stunning they look like they're 10 times the price honestly and when it comes to the size of the curtains you get i always like to go as wide as possible so there is some layering to the curtain and it doesn't just look like a sheer panel against your window i feel like that just makes it look a lot more luxurious and with these sheer curtains it does give me a little bit more privacy so highly recommend these curtains from amazon they're one of my favorite amazon home finds like in my whole house next moving into our artwork i love textured abstract art i just did a diy textured art project i have a ton of textured art throughout my home, specifically gray textured art. I ended up with gray textured art throughout my whole main living area. Um, I like the idea of this kind of artwork because it can evolve with me. I can't commit to like a painting or something where I might get sick of it with time, but because this is just abstract and neutral, if I completely change out the room or I wanna move this like to a different room in my house, I can make it work with anything because it's just such a neutral canvas, literally. So this piece specifically is from Lulu and Georgia. It comes in a ton of different sizes. I liked it above the fireplace. I didn't end up um, putting any holes in my wall. I didn't want to hang it up because I, I just didn't want to put any holes in my wall. So I just have it leaning on the fireplace. And I love that it's neutral at the bottom and then like it gets to a darker gray on top. I feel like that helps to balance out the overall look of the fireplace, which is very um, bold color. I love it the way it is, but I wanted to make sure all of these other kind of warm elements to the room could tie in, and that's why I like to add like the softer gray pieces as well. And then lastly, on this side of the room, we have our built-in shelves. I just did a whole video styling these shelves, going over all of the decor details. I'll link that below, and I'll link everything that's on the shelves below as well. Just a bunch of Amazon finds, Target finds, and home goods like everything's super affordable most things should still be in stock because i got everything very recently also with these shelves we did change out the hardware it was originally um silver and i did change it to matte black all the hardware is also from amazon i feel like it completely changed the room i'm slowly making my way through changing a lot of the hardware throughout our home and i feel like it made a huge difference and then overall with the decor on the shelves i just wanted to add a little bit of greenery in there but keep things very neutral and also add some black elements as well i didn't want it to be like completely 
beige but I have like some different textures going on and that's basically one of my biggest tips with decorating a neutral space is add texture that's the way you're gonna make sure it doesn't look like all bland <laughs> definitely add textured elements so that's what I have with the artwork with some of the different vases that are textured on my shelves the different textures on my couch the boucle the linen and the different um, pieces that I added to my coffee table as well. It's just add a bunch of different textures, especially like the jute rug adds a lot of textures to the room. So it doesn't look like super corporate office, like, yeah, like a corporate office lobby. I didn't want it to look like minimal in that way. I still wanted it to look very cozy, homey, comfortable. Um, I have my dogs cuddling on the couch all the time. I didn't want it to look like you can't live in this space. Maybe it looks like that sometimes. Um, right now it doesn't look like that anymore because my dog just destroyed a toy on the floor, but I want it to be a very welcoming, cozy space where people feel comfortable. All right, so that's gonna be everything for today's video. If you like home decor videos, definitely subscribe to my channel because there's so much more to come. And I'll have all of the items that I mentioned today listed below. If you have any questions on the sizes, colors of anything that I mentioned, I'll answer that in the comments as well. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.